All right, so today I thought we'd take a look at this book I picked up at the uh, library book fair. It was a dollar. Uh, it's called New York State Gateway to America. It's a pretty you know, huge book. Um, but, you know, we'll take a look at it. Uh, it's got some interesting things. And I wanted to post some thoughts I've been having lately. Um, so, let's see here. Um, uh, 1732 drawing, but this was um, you know, one of the first pages. Um, the Champ the Champlain to Garrison drew this plan of Albany, Albany, New York, in 1695. Um, you know, obviously we see a star fort. Um, The water is there. <clears throat> so, you know, the city somehow is working with that. Um, just It's just funny how they word things without much of a notice to it. Like, we got the king of the river nation here. Um, so, here's the star for it in Albany. Um... And, you know, we got, I don't, I don't know, there's a lot of land, a lot of mud, I don't know if the building is buried, who knows, um, you know, this is showing, and this is, um, originally made of wood, it was rebuilt of stone between 1702 and 1735. Despite its apparent defensive importance, its guns were never fired in battle. So, alright, so here's where I started noticing a trend. So, um, below, um, at Albany, you know, it, it's in the 1700s, <clears throat> and, you know, our wood structures, there are some stone, obviously, multiple stone, and all the chimneys are brick. Um, it looks like the mud flood happened, and it, you know, but look at that. Alright, so this is going to be a theme, we're going we're gonna to really discuss the illumination aspect. Uh, this is, I don't know what, but... You know, it's got a device on the top. <clears throat> they call it a church. In 1677, it was founded, apparently. We got a um, great character showing a great um, sign right there. There's a star fort. Um, there's... New Amsterdam, which was supposed to be New York City in 1651. Um, this crap. I mean, yeah, there was a star fort there, but it looks so weird. You don't just... <sighs> These advanced ships are showing up to a land with dirt and a windmill. No, there's something here. Um, <clears throat> there's the star fort on the hill, um, there's buildings, uh, fancy glass, where were they getting the glass from in, you know, Albany in the 1650s, um, 1730, Fort George, upstate New York. Wow, I mean, let's see, this guy was interesting, King Hendrick, Hendrick, Iroquois leader, King Hendrick, what is that, nice little depiction here, 
But, um, alright, so here we go. Uh, 1805, view of old Broadway, supposedly. And we got a light. And that, that to me looks like a train station. You know, they have the train pull up, they just haven't maybe dug out the tracks yet, I'm not sure. But we got a light. 1805. Um, sorry about that. carved. Mohawk chieftain. They're all dressed in very nice clothes. You saw that King Hendrick was. <clears throat> Same clothes as these people. Um, a building. Uh, New York Old City Hall. Opened in 88. Frog. Here we go. The rise of the Empire State. And one, two. Do you like? I don't know what that is. Look at the same view. Just, you know, gives you some more perspective. We got the New York populations. Um, you know, 1830,000. <clears throat> yeah, here's what it looks like in 1791. 1790. Yeah, 33,000. It's like my town I live in. Point Pleasant. It's a little town. And look at this. I mean, look at that big building back there. You don't build a city like that for 33,000 people. Now, <clears throat> this mill, you know, it was a grinding mill. I thought that was interesting. So here's okay. This is apparently this picture shows the process of excavation for the canal at Lockport. I don't know. You be the judge. <laughs> I don't know. What are we seeing here? How high are those piles? What are they? That guy really doing something with that something that high? One person? I, I, I don't know what we're seeing here. This is massive. How are they getting it down there? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, big enough to drive these things down. Detailed plan of New York around 1798. I don't know, not that interesting. <coughs> Union College. Let's take a look at that building. Real life pictures. John Jacob Astor. That guy. Um, so I thought this was a really cool, interesting picture. I mean, these people, first I thought they were kids, but he's balding. And they appear to be grown men. He's got no shoes on. Must be warm out. Um, you know, this is, look at this city. 
do like um <laughs> Broadway probably what a freaking scene every person is wearing a hat not one person head can be seen except the dwarf people I think that kind of I don't know what it says but to me it um, now this picture is called Wall Street Half Past Two O'Clock, 1857, 1857, New York City. Unbelievable. Um, here we go. We're really uh, moving up now. We got trains coming. The Mohawk and Hudson River Railroad was the nation's first. I thought that it's interesting that they called it the Mohawk Railroad. And that was the first. Um, check out this thing. It's a parlor stove. Oof. Hey, hey, hey. That's an interesting um, building. Pretty cool. Obviously, like a kiln of some sort. They're saying it's a lead, a lead mine. I don't know. Um. So here we go. 1860. Look at that chandelier. Now we're getting to the, my favorite picture in this whole thing <clears throat> soon. This is Poughkeepsie. It's a small upstate New York town on the water. Old world. Um, the fire brigade. Look at that castle in the back, huh? Look at that. And there's the ports. We've got some steamships coming in. Um, 1852. Um, 1852 cook stove. Now check this out, this factory. Um, <clears throat> it's interesting how they got like a propaganda up here. I wonder how they were seen in this, you know, a couple little lights, possibly a uh, ceiling light, but from the natural, but I don't know, strange building, strange scene. Now, here's something that is pretty interesting. Um, Steamer, the first engine. Looks pretty intense. Um, we got the brewery. It was established in 1661. Wow. Um, Kings County. Poor house. Yeah, right. <clears throat> now we got some pictures, photographs. That's 1890, though. Well, did I skip my favorite picture? Let's hope not. Oh, here we go. All right, so let's check it out. Um, 1850 is depicted here. Doesn't really tell you much about what, where. But look at all these people. Look at this stage. Look at those lights. Now, there's not many windows in this room, and it appears to be nighttime. So... A 
room this big, you need a lot of freaking lights. Um, and that's an 1850. They have this immense auditorium completely filled at nighttime with people. So these people have to travel to get home safely at, you know, at nighttime. And if it's pitch black, they can't do that. Um, you know, and I basically just want to say that the more I look at old pictures, there's always lights, the interior, and if you've seen my other videos, I deep dive on St. Catharines, they got the bronze standards that are 800 years old, brought from Italy, Rome, Italy, apparently, and they're clearly lights, so, you know, the first thing that comes to my mind is, well, when there was lights 800 years ago, the same way we have them now, and, you know, the more I just think about it, it's like, you know, they tell us they had all these cities, like, Prague, we're going to come back to this picture in a second, um, like Prague and um, Brooklyn and Rome and Venice and all these cities, but electricity didn't come till Thomas Edison. Like, it's just, it doesn't make sense. Like, um, you don't make buildings that are, you know, grand the ones we would see in in Prague or any of those old world cities before electricity was made. It just it's not like it in my opinion, human beings need light. Okay, the day is only half light. So the other half needs to be illuminated in order for you to do anything other than light in a bed. And the more I think about it, until you have that illumination, there's no need for you. You just, you know, you're intense. You could live like that. Once you have illumination, then you can start building and building and cities and aqueducts and pumps and heating systems and all these things that they say were invented before electricity was invented. And it just makes no sense. It's like you don't. Electricity comes before these kinds of things. You know, they're saying this is all before uh, modern electricity uh, it was, it was built. And it just... Subway excavation. You know, the old tunnels. Who knows the damn near. Um... Digging up the tracks or digging the space for the tracks. I don't see tracks underneath here. This is a very large machine. Tro the urban trolley lines des derive their power from massive electric power stations. This one is the Cooperstown Powerhouse. I've seen some of my other videos, there are pictures of the lines down before there are people. Um, just look at these streets. Look how old and weathered they look. Just hundreds of years old, just like any other, you know, Rome or anywhere. This is Oswego, New York. Unbelievable. 1853, about 1853, look at those bridges, why do they need bridges, what is going across it, horses, come on, you just don't make these things before electricity, before indoor illumination is available for everyone, 
No. That's just, you know, the more I think about it, it's just the dumbest thing ever. So this is a really cool building. Um, so much going on here, to digest. But this was another great, um, so this is this building being built, <laughs> apparently. Now, obviously it could be from a different angle, but first thing I notice is this doesn't look crowded like this does. So I don't know if I'm looking at even the same place. Are they telling me these columns or these columns? I don't know. But what do we see? People standing around. No, I, I don't even know. Wood planks? What is, what is this for? What is this? What is this? What is this? Unbelievable. 1867, 25 million dollars today. Here's the interior of it. It's looking old as heck. What is this? This is fucking weird, man. A daily procession of 200 railroad cars were drawn by horses to haul away clay deposits and returned laden with massive blocks of white main granite. Oh, the horses returned with massive blocks? And then what? They put them on a rope and, and they... Had three people jump on this end and bounce one up and it plopped onto here. I mean, what? Show me a working. Show me something in action. Don't show me wood and cement. Wood and cement. It's fucking weird. People are lying. I don't know what's going on. But I see lots of lights and power lines everywhere every time I look. Look at this Brooklyn. Look at this party. Look at this place. The world is not like this. 1883. You know, who knows if it really happened like this, but celebration of the opening. I don't know. Let me get, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I don't know. I'm just stuck on the electricity thing lately. It's like you don't make cities until electricity is established, until you have lighting at night. It's just so dumb. Um, yeah, I'll do a part two on this book, maybe, because um, there are more interesting pictures, obviously. Um, but we'll be here for hours. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'll be back soon.